the stuff we did on Pam is probably some of my favorite stuff we've done for True Blood. But the great thing about the first stage is it was actually three stages of makeup. This is what she started out with. It was just this little subtle pieces like this. And what they did is they did what's called a visual effects reveal. The appliances are painted out and they just kind of fade and appear on the actress. That was stage one. Stage two went to this piece here, which this whole chunk of skin was designed that it can be ripped off. This piece and this nose piece were added. And we also made a dental piece for her mouth to pull her lip down and to pull her eye down. That was done with monofilament. The other thing that made this process work, in my opinion, was uh, Kristen Bauer. She did a phenomenal job, never complained once, and just a lot of makeup. Actually, she had told me the running in the heels in the woods was way worse than wearing any of the makeup. <laughs> Then we started getting into the healing stuff. She was literally wrapped. She had a towel around her waist, but all her arms, her legs, everything else was wrapped in this yellow surgical wrap. She was wearing this prosthetic underneath the surgical wrap, and then we had a face piece that was actually glued onto the surgical wrap. And we pulled off her face, and we also pulled off a section of her arm as well. And then we get to a real interesting stage, is after the flesh is removed, this is what she looks like when she starts to heal. And the idea of this, was to design a two layer makeup, uh, almost like a fetus skin. You know, you could see through the surface. So the first stage of the makeup was putting on all those tattoos that were basically 2D that you could see the muscles and vein underneath. And then these clear appliances were applied on top of them. With True Blood, I always try to keep a little bit of a style to it. It still should be gross, but it shouldn't be like Walking Dead gross.